Hello everybody, Max Scoville here for IGN. I'm with Eric Goldman and we are sitting in a hotel room because the New York Comic Con show floor is closed, but there was a very big panel that you just came back from, yeah. which is Marvel's Netflix shows. They showed off our first look at Iron Fist. Can you tell us a bit about what we got to see? Yeah, uh, they showed us a ton. I mean, there's a trailer out there that I'm sure a lot of you have already watched, uh, but we saw like, I think around five scenes from the show. Uh, we won't go into all of them, but we got a good overview of what to expect from the show. And I, I will say, I did interviews for the show earlier today and they said it would be lighter comparatively to the than the other Netflix Marvel shows and I think you got that idea because you saw Danny Rand returning to New York he's he vanished when he was 10 and now he shows up he looks like a bum he's barefoot got this big beard he's listening to a really old iPod he's listening to a tribe called quest on it and wandering into his uh, the office building his dad owned saying hey I'm Danny Rand, and when security tries to get rid of what they think is a crazy homeless man, he fights back because he's Iron Fist. But there's a lightful, there's a light, playful tone to it that is not in most of the other Marvel Netflix series. Okay. Uh, that was actually going to be my, my first question was because it is kind of the tone. Uh, now, for people kind of unfamiliar with Iron Fist as a character, what's what's the elevator pitch? I mean, it, you know, you will definitely think of both Batman Begins and Arrow because guess what? It's a billionaire guy who disappeared. Although in this case, it's like at 10 years old, he just vanished. And now he's back, but uh, he was. We saw another scene where he he looks like he's drugged, and he's being asked all these questions. And he says that monks found him, that they trained him, they made him a warrior. Uh, that and and he also talks about how he was trained to fight the hand, and is actually he's supposed to destroy the hand, and he's the only one that can do it. So it's definitely got that uh, billionaire billionaire playboy returns, although he was only a kid when he left. Uh, and now he's got a greater purpose thing. But yeah, I do think that that tone will help it stand out, not just from the other Marvel Netflix shows, but from Arrow or Batman Begins, because it does seem like, you know, they're being a little more fun and light with this character. That's really good to hear. Uh, now, obviously, this is part of kind of the, are we calling it the cinematic universe? I mean, it, it's, it's connected. I mean, it's all connected, they say, but it, it is part of this. I call it part of the MCU, but sure. it's a little weird. Well, in any case, it is connected to the Netflix yeah. stuff. Uh, do we see any recurring re returning characters or overlap there? So they didn't show them in the clips, but Rosario Dawson was on the panel. So Claire Temple is back. She's, you know, she's the Nick Fury of these shows. She's just going from, she's now going to be in all four of them. We got to assume she's in Defenders, right? Um, and then there was a big mention that got a reaction from the crowd. It was a very amped up crowd, as all the New York Comic Con crowds seem to be. And we saw a scene where he was confronting his childhood friends who basically have locked him out of his money because they don't, they're, like, they're saying that we don't even know you're really Danny Rand. And he says, I've got Hogarth now. So he's referencing Joey, Jerry Hogarth from Jessica Jones. We know that Carrie Ann Moss is in this show, so she'll be his legal representation she's popping up at some point. Cool. And uh, we obviously have, uh, I think we're going to do a separate video to talk a bit about the Defenders, which yeah. this is all all leading up to. Was there anything else from the Iron Fist segment of the panel you wanted to touch on? I mean, I want to talk about the action just because it's, it's you know, it's Iron Fist. It's a martial arts show, and they've they definitely had great fights in Daredevil. But it, they looked really fun, very different from Daredevil because it's much more fluid. And, you know, he's, he's not a brawler like Daredevil is. A lot of shots from above that show you sort of this very, you know, really swooping fluid moves. He's doing fun things like he's beating up security guards trying to stop him while he uses his foot to press the elevator button. And I have to mention Colleen Wang, another popular character from the comics uh, that we know is part of this. She has a huge fight scene we saw. It's a it's a classic thing. It's the, the cage fight. I love that every TV show has a cage fight. I've never seen a cage fight, but on TV, they're everywhere. But it's Colleen Wing, little Colleen Wing, the small girl versus these two huge guys. She's wearing kind of like a white workout outfit with the hoodie up. And uh, it's great. Uh, she just kicks so much ass. Uh, again, they make it sort of realistic as far as she uses a lot of elbows. She does a throat punch on a guy. She gets a guy's, she grips his uh, arm and her legs and snaps his arm. Uh, it, the audience went crazy for this scene, and I think it's going to make this character and the actress Jessica, Jessica Henwick, who was already in Game of Thrones and Star Wars, so she's on a roll, uh, very popular. All right. Uh, now, obviously, uh, you know, Iron Fist has a very, very colorful costume in the comics. Uh, did they kind of did they show anything like that, or is it more like the kind of athletic wear approach? It, it's doing the Netflix thing, where if he's going to get a costume, it won't be till the very end of the season, or maybe even the Defenders. I did notice he walked in in one scene, the scene when he confronts the Meacham siblings. He's wearing a green shirt. Green T-shirt under like a just a black jacket uh, as a nod, I think, to his costume. But I mean, he even I mean, I will mention that, uh, you know, the actor Finn Jones still has that beard. They just wrapped shooting this morning at 9 a.m. So Danny Rand is rocking that beard, I think, the entire season. I don't think we're going to get Iron Fist looking clean shaven with the full costume. I don't even know in this show. I think Defenders will have to wait for that. 
Cool. Well, we are going to go and uh, make another video about the Defenders because there's a lot to talk about here. Uh, we've got lots of coverage from New York Comic Con, so check it out.